Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Invasio Barbarorum. Last time, I believe, and it's been a while since I recorded this, but last time I believe we stomped a bunch of rebels over here with Vortima. We, yeah, we got Cadell, um, poor 16 year old Cadell almost in a sticky situation over here with these random Irishmen. I mean, assumed Irishmen, I still don't know what, 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 what where exactly those bastards are from. All I know is they're tearing up the countryside, which I don't really appreciate a terrible amount. Because um, it's, yeah, it's causing devastation, which is lowering the income of uh, Isca Silurum. So we do have to deal with these guys at some point, but unfortunately they're in a really, really, really good bit of terrain that's easy for uh, defending. So I'm going to move Cadell out of uh, the danger zone. And I'll send him off to Camelot because I think that was where he was going. I've sort of forgotten, honestly. Um, Caradica Sanctus is 53 years old. Jesus Christ, he's probably going to die at some point soon. <laughs> um, Vortimo, I don't know what to do with you, really. Um, I'll send you back to Vento Isonorum. Uh, what are we building? A spy, apparently. Um, a trireme, good. And some statues in these towns, and this casino isn't doing anything other than building some farms. Camelot's building some statues, and it's retraining some troops because I believe we were sending Senianus, who is our new Magister Militum, off to try and conquer the Irish pretty soon because that's why we moved this little uh, this little fleet of Byremes up there. So, right. Oh yeah, and the Saxons are marching around ineffectively because they don't know what to do with themselves right now. And there's this big rebel stack over here, which already beat off an army of Franks, and is continuing to destroy Belgium, or Holland, or wherever the hell that is. Um, so yeah. Right, well. Well, well, well. Well, 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 well. What can we do for now? Uh, I don't know, really. Not a great deal. We could just sort of... Keep hitting the old end turn button and wait for you know Camelot and Institute Hill to sort of calm down a bit because I'd really really like them to calm down a bit so I could actually move troops out of there and Madrun for instance who's just kind of wasting time but I need him there because of his governor's influence and uh, that sort of stuff. People have been telling me that it might be a good idea to start trying to recruit you know, not recruit but uh, start trying to convert these guys to Christianity now because it'll save me headaches in the future. Um, might be a good idea, but I want to at least get most of the public order un under control first. I think maybe if maybe once I upgrade them to the next level of settlement, and the culture penalty is gone, and this unrest is gone, then we can think about converting to Christianity. But until then, I think we're going to have to get, have these guys stay pagan because otherwise the unrest will cause another fresh wave of revolts, which I really don't want to have to deal with. So anyway, end turn. I think. Unless I'm forgetting something, which I probably am. I don't know, it's been a little while since I played this, so, uh, you know. I'm gonna. This is gonna be a slightly shorter episode than normal, and I think it's gonna be that way sort of from now on in general, really, just because it. Uh, I don't think people necessarily mind having shorter videos. I don't mind watching short videos of other people's LPs just because it's easy to keep up with. But also because it cuts down the upload time for these videos. And the upload time for these videos is pretty astronomically high. So, yeah. Um, I'm thinking somewhere between 15 and 20 minutes will be the video length from now on. It's be the same for all my LPs across the board, really, not just this one. Uh, okay, so trireme's ready, the dude's retrained, the spy's ready. I can't remember what I got the spy for, but... Hey, hey, we have a spy. Um, I suppose I could dump him in that trireme and then carry him across there later, but for now I'm going to build another trireme. And Vortum is going to move back to Inventi Storm, which is taking absolutely forever, and I don't know why. And Senianus, you can move into Camelot. Camelot, Camelot. And we can build something else here, like paved roads. That'd be kind of neat. It'll give us a bit more income. A Popina? Yes, we should build a Popina. It's nice and cheap, and it improves our, um, what's it, dude? What, what's it called, you know, um. Yeah, public relations, public order. That's it. Right, okay. Got it in the end. Um, so yeah, Papina. 
And, oh, look, we can recruit Equites now, which are like a basic cavalry unit. We don't actually have any of these units actually in our armies at the minute, but this is the basic Roman-style cavalry unit. Um, they can throw missiles like uh, javelins, and you can also use them if you're really desperate to charge enemy infantry units, usually light infantry like archers and skirmishers and stuff. And they're good at chasing down fleeing enemies as well, so... Uh, yeah, no, they're pretty cool. They're pretty decent to have on hand, and they're also zero turn recruitment too, which is good. However, I really want to keep an eye on my budget when it comes to recruiting stuff because we only just got out of the red zone. Um, projected profits at the minute at 1,799, which will bring us to around 5,000 next turn, but that'll go down further if I keep building stuff like uh, like this academy, for instance, which I'm not entirely sure if we really need, but it would be kind of cool to have. Um, an arena, maybe? It's cheaper. Yeah, an arena. Go for it. Why not? I don't think Londinium ever did have a Colosseum or an arena or whatever, but never mind. We'll have one anyway. Uh, you're kind of useful, Cadell, actually. You're also a pagan, which means I could probably chuck you into Inchtut Hill to govern that place, and then I could free up Madrun for leading more armies. So, maybe that's what I, my original plan was for him, so I'll send him up that way. Um, Burakum, I could probably raise their tax rate a bit, actually. There we go. Yeah. A little bit better off than we were before. Hooray. This place still has a very high tax rate. Ideally, I want to get these all a nice low tax rate so I can increase the, uh, you know, um, the population as much as possible. But that's not really an ideal thing to do right now. We are in a far from ideal situation. Um, however, I don't want to muck about really too much. So let's get on with this. Let's, send, let's grab Senianus. Let's get the Alans. Let's get the Equites. These Milites, Pedotes, the lot. Right, Camelot's not revolting, good. Um, and I'm going to plop him onto this boat, which won't actually be able to cross over to Ireland this turn, but it will be able to next turn. And this lot should, in theory, be sufficient to conquer Ireland. It consists of only one settlement, and they're just rebels. Rebel, Picti, Kelty, whatevers. And, uh, yeah, it shouldn't be a big deal at all, really. Hopefully. Um... Fortimer, we could send you to deal with those rebels, considering... Well, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to just leave them. To, you know, to sort of wander around on their own devices, really. So, um... It's not doing a great deal of harm. I'll have to get rid of them eventually, though, I suppose. Anyway, end turn. I'm going to just burn through some more turns really here and just get on with it, really, because we've spent a lot of time just mucking about in Britannia, really, mainly because of the whole cluster fuck up in Scotland with Dalryda, but you know. Sin for ap Idern. Wow, that's a very uh, Celtic name. He's a Christian though. No, he's useless. He might be 16 years old, but he's got no stats in anything. Rubbish. Um, end of turn report. We barely scraped out of debts for that turn. Communal farming is done. Another trireme is finished. This is good. This is very good because eventually it means we'll go be able to go deal with the Saxon fleet wherever the hell the Saxon fleet actually is right now because I don't see it anywhere. But it's around somewhere. Um, where are you, Paternus? Go look for the Saxon boats. I don't like the fact that they're hiding. It unnerves me. Uh. Meanwhile, Vortimer, you can go hang around in Inventor, Isenorum. Which allow me to raise the tax rate, because I've got a garrison there now. And I'm going to retrain all these dudes as well. And maybe build a building. I don't know. Have I an idea for Osoria? Maybe. Nice public order bonus. Nah. I'm content to just generate piles of money for now. Really? Uh, there's 
vortigo and he's getting on a bit vortigo and he's 54 years old now that's not good um i'll have to remember to pass excalibur on to madrun before this guy dies <laughs> so we don't lose it um i could have recruited some levies actually some celtic levies before we left for ireland Ready to sail. but i guess it's a bit late for that now uh Ready okay there you go. Ready to sail. Aye, aye, yeah, no, we should be fine by the looks of things. Ready to sail. Um, I'm not going to attack the town directly. I'm going to see if we can go and kill these guys out in the field and then drag these other fellas out of the town just to avoid us having to do yet another siege battle. And uh, so long as we don't have to do another siege battle, I reckon I could probably just kill a lot of them with my Allens. Because, yeah, these are all just picked units here. Gerlom, Dimber, etc. They're just lacking um, more mares, which is nice. They do have this guy, who has a bodyguard of more mares, but yeah. Uh, do be proud, Sanianus, with your two stars. Hopefully that'll grow, eventually. And then, uh, turn? Am I forgetting anything, maybe? I'm not sure. I'm worried that I am. Oh, blacksmith, huh? No, no, no. Hmm. Lupinaria. Wait, what? Do we already have a Posturbillion? Oh, apparently we do. Oh, hello. Hello, that's population growth bonus minus 0 0.5. It just says, it says 0.5 there instead of 5%. I only just noticed it's the, the point. This whole time I thought it was minus 5%, which would have been catastrophic, but actually that's not so bad. Um, hmm. Maybe I should consider building some more of those then. Uh, anyway... Uh, I'd want to build some more interesting things like ballista ranges and stables and maybe a stone wall, but we don't have the money, which means we just have to save up, really. So, in turn. Oh, yeah, Diplomat is off to somewhere. I can't quite remember where, but he's off to somewhere. Oh, here we go. It's kind of what I wanted. Yes. Army strength ratio 2 to 1. Deceptive, considering we have the Allen horse archers, but we'll go with, go with it. Um, yes, let's do this. I'm actually going to cut this episode short. I think uh, just at, at the, at the, after the battle speech or something. I think just because I don't want to cut the battle in half. Um, if I can help it during this video. So. Friends, Romans, countrymen, today is a day for brave deeds. Today is a proud day to, to be, be Roman. Roman. <laughs> Brave Romans, prepare to defend yourselves. Ah, defend ourselves. It's a funny way of saying subjugate an entire subcontinent. Um, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna pause the recording here. And then uh, that'll be the end of this episode. A bit short, I know, but like I said, I'm making them shorter in general. And also, I don't want to cut the battle in half over two videos. I think that kind of sucks. So I'm going to just leave it here. Um, so yeah, next time we're going to go crush some Irish people. <laughs>